Let's now move to combinations. So, tapos tayo sa permutation. Let's have these two scenes. For scene one, Mark, Ian, Venture, and Claire must select among themselves two participants for the upcoming computer quiz challenge. List all the possible two-man team. For scene number two, Mark, Ian, Venture, and Claire all the, all join the computer quiz challenge. They all made into the final four, but only two awards will be given: champion and the first runner-up. List all the possible outcomes from the quiz challenge. So I'm going to give you. Um, di pala. You pause the video and then tell me the difference between the two scenes. Okay, mukhang tama naman yung ano na niya, no? Kahit hindi ko naman narinig yung sagot niya. Pero, pini ko naman, parehas tayo nang iniisip. For scene number one, the arrangement of who should be chosen first doesn't matter. Tama. Kasi kung two-man team to, hindi nagmamatter kung si Mark yung una kong pinili and then Ian, or si Ian muna at saka si Mark. Ang mahalaga, silang dalawa yung pinili ko. For scene number two, Nagmamatter ko nyarang pinili ko ay si Market si Ian. Pero sino sa kanila yung champion? Tsaka sino yung first runner up? Yon, may may arrangement, may specific arrangement na tayong sinusunod. For scene number one, hindi nagmamatter arrangement. For scene number two, mahalaga yung arrangement. Pero dalawa lang para sa yung pipili natin, de ba? Kasi sa scene number one, pipili ka ng dalawa pero part ng two man team. Sa scene number two, pipili ka ng dalawa, but you have to identify sino yung champion at sino yung first runner up. C number 1 can be solved using what we call combination principle. C number 2 can be solved using the principle that we've talked about earlier sa earlier videos about permutation. Okay? And I will introduce to you combination. The number of combination of n distinct objects taken R at a time is this one, n factorial divided by n minus R factorial, R factorial. So ang difference to kay permutation na karon pa ng R factorial then. Note, the other notations for combination of n objects taken R at a time can be, you can use this one, or you can use, it, ito yung medyo famous na ginagamit, lalo na sa mga proofs at sa mga books. But we will use this one because, again, it's easier to type C or the combination of n taken R. Here are several remarks. The combination of n objects taken everything, taken n, is equivalent to n times uh, the, sorry, the combination of n objects taken none or zero, which is equivalent to one. Parang ano to eh? How many ways can you select n objects? Um, how many how many ways can you select n objects from n objects? Ay parang lahat sila kasama. Kung kay clear ta sa kadita sa scenario nato, how many ways can you select four students or four man team from Mark Ian Winsor and Claire? So isang best mo lang pa ring gawin yon. And also. We have the combination of n taken n minus 1 at a time. That's the same as combination of n taken 1, which is actually equivalent to n. So we'll try to prove this in class. Okay, let's have some examples. In how many ways can you select three students to be part of the seminar workshop in science from a group of eight students? Okay, again, pipili ka ng tatlo. Since your arrangement hindi nagmamatter from n objects, kailangan mo lang ng tatlo. So the combination of 8 objects taken 3 at a time is equivalent to 8 factorial over 8 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial. The reason why there is still a 3 factorial there, kasi dun sa permutation, di ba wala to? Kasi kailangan mo pang i-arrange yung tatlong pinili mo. Pero dito, hindi mo na kailan... Uh, uh, pero dito, iya, yeah, ulit. <laughs> the reason why there is a 3 factorial here is because uh, itong formula na to, di ba? This is in permutation. Kasi ang ina-arrange mo dito, pipili ka ng tatlo, tapos i-arrange mo pa sila. Sa so, combination kasi, since hindi nila nagmamatter yung arrangement nila, you have to divide 3 factorial. This is the number of arrangements ng tatlong objects na pinili mo. Kaya meron siyang over 3 factorial. So when we expand this, this is 8 factorial over... 5 factorial, 3 factorial. And we already know how to do this. This is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. Ito, yung 5 factorial, yung 3 factorial, i-expand ko ng konti. Hindi, ko pala, hindi pala konti, i-expand ko. And then, cancel na yung 5 factorial. Yung 3 times 2, ba 6 yun. So, cancel din to. So, we were left with 8 times 7, which is 50. 56. So, there are, bawal pala yung ano. 56. There are 56 ways of selecting 3 students from a group of 8 students. Now, let's check this using our calculator. Meron din combination dito, yung task naman ng divide. So, we have 8, combination, so shift, tapos and divide, 3. So, the answer is 56. Okay, so that's for example number, hindi ba to example number 2, no? Example number, bakit 2 pala yung nakalagay sa lahat, no? 14. So, example number 16 na pala to. 
Let's have example number 17. Your mathematics club officials is composed of five boys and six girls. May five at five boys, just six girls, sorry. Eleven lads. How many ways can you choose a delegation of five members to represent your school in a regional science forum if all the officers can participate? So everyone is entitled to participate. Letter B, the delegation must be composed of two boys and three girls. Exactly two boys and three girls. Letter C, the delegation must be composed of exactly three boys and the delegation must have at least two girls. Okay, let's have letter A muna. Um, all the officers can participate. There are 11, tama? There are 11 students because five boys, six girls, and then we have to choose five. So your R here is five. So for letter A, it's just a combination of 11 objects taken five at a time, which you can do in how many ways? Let's use our calculator. That's 11 combination 5, which is 462. Next, letter B. 462 ways. Letter B, um, the delegation must be composed of two boys and three girls. So, suck that out, two boys and three girls. In this case, we will be using the multiplication principle. So, because we have two operations to do. Tama? Yung una, pipili mo tayo ng boys, yung two boys. Yung pangalawang operation naman, we're going to select the three girls. The first operation, selecting two boys out of five, can be done in combination of five taken two. Tama? That's how many ways we can select two boys from five. And then the second operation, which can be done in, in six taken three. Tama? Combination of six taken three at a time. So by the principle or the, by the multiplication principle, all you have to do is to multiply this. Ano ang five combination two? So let's again pull out our calculator. Five combination two is 10 times six combination three. Six combination three, 20. So 10 times 20, that's 200 ways. So, there are 200 ways of selecting two boys and three girls. Again, ang ginawa natin doon, pili muna tayo ng boys. And then, multiply it by the number of ways we can choose three girls from six. Okay. And apply natin yung multiplication rule. Let's have letter C. The delegation must be composed of exactly three boys. Exactly three boys. So, again... Mukhang dalawang operations na naman yung gagawin natin, no? Exactly three boys, ibig sabihin, we are left with two girls na lang. So, the three boys can be selected from five, which can be done in five combination three. And then, the remaining two girls, wala tayong choice, kundi, syempre, kung tatlo na yung boys doon, yung dalawang litira sa girls natin siya pipiliin, which can be done in six combination two ways. Let's compute this. What is 5 combination 3? And uh, this it, that's equivalent to 10. You can check that. Huh? That's equivalent to 10. 5 combination 2 and 5 combination 3 are the same. Check na nga natin. Okay, so it's 10. 6 combination 2. That's equivalent to 15. So, 10 times 15, that's 150 ways. Okay. Okay.